A week ago, I was looking for washi tapes on Shopee and I found these really cute highlighters from the same shop. So I went ahead and ordered them. Today, we're going to be trying these out and see if we can make something out of them. I went a little overboard with the washi tapes. I ordered way more than I could possibly need, but I feel like I can really make something out of these. But for now, we're going to reserve that for a future video. Today we're just going to be using these gel pens and these highlighters especially. I also have this really cute eraser pen thing from the same shop. It's somewhere between a regular eraser and a, a pencil eraser. It's just perfect for me because I don't use my pencil erasers too much. I just think it's too fine. But I also prefer handling my erasers like I would handle a pen. So, so this thing is works perfect. It flakes off fairly easily it lifts the graphite and not just smudge it around like some other erasers do so yeah i really like this one and now we're gonna be moving on to the gel pens i really love these colors i like that they're fun and not just the black that i'm used to these gel pens I know I've complained about gel pens not being great for shading, but I enjoy doing line work with them, especially like that the colors are bright and vibrant, not the usual ones that I'm used to for gel pens. But the best thing that I ordered from this shop are these highlighters. I was immediately drawn to their colors because I saw that they weren't bright and loud, like the colors I would associate with normal highlighters they called it their retro colors which i think is so cool i like this warm brown one i think it's my favorite and it's also the reason why i bought this whole set i love that it's not just bright colors i feel like even the red it's on the dustier side of red and then there's also another brown which is cooler toned the blues are vibrant but it's so translucent that it still works and there's also another one that's a little bit darker, but I still don't mind it because it's more on the neutral side of blue. So when I'm planning a spread like this, I usually like to roughly plan out where I'm placing everything before I start. Just so I know that these drawings are going to be filling out the page the way I like them to. Um, all of these reference photos are from Pinterest. I chose them because they have different color palettes and I really want to experiment as much as I can with these highlighters. I want to know which color combinations work together and whether these gel pens and these highlighters would look good next to each other. I just used a normal pencil to sketch with today. I have found that doing these robot-like figures really helps guide my anatomy when I start drawing. This is just one of the things I learned from Proko, and if you want to know more about his technique, you can check out his channel here on YouTube too. Even though I really love these colors, I don't think that there are any light base colors on the set. So we're just going to use my Stabilo highlighter for these. This one, I really love this Stabilo set that I had. I actually used the, these a lot. I even had a video uploaded with me using them. But the real issue for me with this highlighters is that I feel like the shape is hard to grasp. Especially if you're someone who has... Um, smaller hands it, the shape makes it hard really hard to control and the color options I think with the set that I had I feel like it's a little bit too bright and loud for me but that's still also a personal preference so we use that one to block out the darker parts of the photo this is still very nerve-wracking for me after using these highlighters for so long it looks like it's really easy to overdo and it is, because even though these are light colors, it leaves a lot of streaks on the paper. And for a while there, I didn't even know what to do with these after I laid that color down. I feel like I messed up with one layer. But we're just gonna go on with the new highlighters anyway. I want something of a safe color first. I think the warmer of the two reds. As a side note, I know there are better names for these colors. I just 
I just oversimplify them in my head so I know where to place them. I hope it's not too confusing for you guys. So I went for the safer option with the colors that I chose the first time, the color that isn't too far away from the one that I just laid down. It's also one of the lighter colors in the set and I want something that I can build up into the look that I'm going for. I also tried the, uh, the other color option that isn't too far from that one, but I really like the shift from that color onto this other cooler tone. For the line work on this one, I chose the purple gel pen. I would have gone with a different color, I just felt like this one is safer and I really like to get to know these gel pens more. In the end, I really ended up loving these more than I expected to. The size is a little bit bigger for this drawing, but it won't always be that way. I'm not always going to be drawing small ones like this. And I really love the colors with these. I think they work well with the highlighters. And this is going to be something that I do quite often because after I ink, the colors look a little too dull next to the dark line work so I go over them with my markers again to just build up those colors a little bit more and make them stand up better next to the line work. For the next one, I'm gonna start with the Stab Below highlighter again to roughly block out the light and shadowed parts of the drawing. One thing I like about this Stab Below one is the chiseled tip. I think it really gives the color really nice character. These new ones are also chiseled tips, but they're not as broad as the Stab Below ones. So we're gonna go ahead with the warmer of the two greens. I think this will work well for the retro style that I'm going for. This is kind of the opposite way that I did the other one, where that one was more safe. I tried to use as, as many of the colors as I can for this one and see how they work with each other. This is also a color palette that I don't normally use. I particularly liked how this blue went for this drawing. I'm excited that it went well with the style that I wanted. I also took a risk with choosing the color of the gel pen for this one. I wanted it to stand out, but I didn't want it to look. So I chose blue and I think it turned out to be the perfect choice for this piece. And this one became one of my favorites out of these three here because of that. For the third one, I wanted to be more practical with how I use these highlighters. I want to see if they work in application to what I would most likely use them for. So I go with the lighter colors first because those are what I use most of the time. I really love the combination of the peach marker and the greenish sort of grey highlighter because I could stack these colors on top of each other and the layers underneath would still show and I like that. The highlighters both also build up really well with just the same colors. It looks a little crazy at first, but it does settle a bit more when they dry. I decided to use the pink for this third one just because it's the color that is closest to red which is what I always sketch with but I feel like this one is just a little too bright closer to pink which I don't think the colors work together well I think it would have been better if I maybe chose the blue I think that contrast would have made the drawing look better and then the blue highlighter was a bigger risk that I chose for this but I 
I just think it needed a different sort of color to break apart the ones that look too similar to each other and it worked out in the end that way, I really like that Lastly, I'm gonna go over everything with my brush pen to bring them all together I used my Tombow brush pen for the initial lines but after that, for the bolder strokes, I used this brush pen that I don't know the name of. I forgot what it's called and I can't find it in my purchase history. So if you guys can help me figure this out, I would really, I would really appreciate it. I haven't been using this on my other videos because I can't recommend it to you guys but I really like this one and I want to take this opportunity to ask you guys to name it if you can. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed sketching with me and trying out new stuff. I am a little stumped right now with my commissions but as soon as I'm done with those, I'm going to be going back to my tutorials and I'll see you guys soon.